Thank you very much for that warm uh, reception, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for those kind words. Um, welcome to the 25th Excuse anniversary. Excuse me, uh, sorry to uh, interrupt, John. Um, you remember me? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not usual for a humble GP to interrupt a revered consultant, is it? No, not um, at all. But, um, see, tonight, it's the 25th anniversary of this fantastic charity of which you were co-founder. True. And for which you've done so much. Thank you. And do you remember a guy called um, Eamon Andrews? I do. And a programme called This Is, this is Your Life. <laughs> Hang on to that. <laughs> well, before we go any further, could I ask Esme to come and join us on stage? I don't think she should be forgotten. You know, this guy's worked so hard, he hardly ever sees his wife for 25 years. So Esme, please come up and join us on this wonderful occasion. Thank you, Esme. He just wants to get on with his speech. I'm not going to let him. Well done, Di. Right. John, tonight, we're celebrating the 25 years, quarter of a century. Your co-founder and inspiration behind the charity tonight, we'd like to pay tribute to you. Your dedication, your hard work, your skill, your passion, your compassion, everything. So do you remember back in 1994, you made a promise and a commitment to the people of the Midlands and the Get Ahead charity? And I was as delighted to support you then and the charity as I am now. Let's have a look at this speech. My first thoughts as I stand here is I reflect some six months ago that I had an idea with Adrian Drakeley, my colleague, and Emma Tompkins, his secretary, that we would start an appeal, and that we would try and raise money for the people of Birmingham and the Midlands to help patients who have head and neck diseases, but especially those with cancer. I need your help. One thing's for sure, I won't let you down. Any patient who comes to me will get the best care that I can give on the day he or she comes. Oh, if only that I'd... <laughs> Wonderful. If, if only they'd invented Regain then, eh? <laughs> Where would we be? Can you remember, you gave me a call at GMTV and said, can you get a film crew down to the, the ward at the hospital? Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Tell us about that. Is this work? Yes. Yep. Um, well, we hadn't really done anything like this before, but all of a sudden things came together. Um, Tim Munton, you'll all remember, on this table here, vice captain of Warwickshire, uh, England cricketer. We got together with Roy Castle and we had an idea that we put the day together and we begin at 7.30 in the morning. And I just thought, well, when I spoke to you, would GM, was it breakfast TV, wasn't good, it? Good morning TV. Good morning TV, come up. Give, give me the Valium, I think it was yeah, otherwise known yeah. as. And um, we go live from the ward at the QE at 7.30 in the morning. You scripted that. And then we went down to the um, council house in Birmingham where Roy Castle was with Ruth Maddock. And he gave a wonderful speech. And then the evening, with Andy Lloyd and Peter Scudamore and Tim Munton, we put the world to rights in Harbin High Street in the <laughs> pizza parlour. And then the rest is history, really. We did indeed. Now, 25 years on, and here we are. You've raised, the charity's raised £6 million, pounds, which is absolutely amazing. £6 million. £6 million. And, you know, this is... Yeah. Largely down to you, John. You've inspired, you've motivated people, and you're also a hugely respected surgical consultant. As shown in the film at the start of the evening, the charity has purchased life-changing equipment for hospitals and for individual patients. You've helped patients communicate with their loved ones, with uh, people who've had cancer of the larynx, who've lost their voice box. You've given iPads. You've given, what's that thing called? Electrolarynx, is yeah. it? Electrolarynx. You've got pictures there uh, somewhere on the, on the screen behind us. You've been able to offer complementary therapies and counselling services to your patients. And it's all about the patient, always was, and it always will be. And that's been absolutely fantastic. So as well as, as that, you've supported the maxillofacial teams, helping people whose faces needed to be rebuilt. And you've identified life-changing surgery and treatment for them. You've helped them with their identity. You've invested millions of pounds um, with world-class research to improve the treatments and outcomes for patients. And several, you've got several highly respected patrons. You've got royal patronage as well, strong board of trustees, staff, and a support network of patients, volunteers, and fundraisers who are still working amongst the tables tonight and doing a fantastic job, aren't Thank they? Thank you, everybody, yeah. 
we have, we have a few people from the early days of the charity who wanted to share a few messages with you this evening. Take a look at the screen, John. Greetings, John, and welcome everybody at the ball. I hope you're having a great time. It doesn't seem 25 years ago that John and I started Get Ahead with the late Roy Castle. I still remember our first meeting at Birmingham Town Hall. We were of a single mind in that we should support patients who have head and neck cancer. And one of the first things we did was fund a counsellor and after three years the NHS took this post over. It allowed us to develop the charity and I'm pleased that John too has continued this. I wish everybody has a great time here tonight to support this important charity. My wishes are with you and I regret that I cannot be here in person. Good night and have a good time. Nice one. Nice one. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, John. We go back many, many years, don't we? You've always been a hero of mine ever since you were running around as a, a very, very good hooker for Belmont Agby School. I was there just as a youngster, but even in those days, I, I looked up to you. One of the most poignant moments of my life, I think, was walking around with you in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. You took me into a room and you said to me, look at those people, what's wrong with them? And I said, well, nothing. And then uh, they took off a bit of their side of their face and uh, I could see the great work that you had done. And again, one of the great honours I had was to be asked by you to be part of the Get Ahead charity. Uh, not only was it an, an honour, but it turned out to be tremendous fun. Anyway, have a wonderful evening, John. I'm sorry I'm not there, but uh, you know, a lasting life friendship is one of the things I treasure. Have a good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, John. John and I met each other, I think it was back in the 90s, when we had a splendid time at the famous Jonathan's restaurant with Esme and himself and my wife, Janet. What a terrific evening that was. I've had the pleasure, I think it's the pleasure, yes, it is the pleasure, of seeing John operate. Absolutely inspiring, absolutely inspiring. What a wonderful guy he is. John has been a good friend, not only to me, but to the family, my friends, his advice and help has been absolutely wonderful throughout the years. All the very best, John. You're an amazing man. Thank you very much. Hello, John. Val Spittle here. Congratulations on your 25th anniversary ball. Here is the programme from your first ball, held at the Botanical Gardens in October 1994. I joined you and Adrian just after that as your first appeals director. And over the next 10 years, we had some great fundraising events. These included the annual Chase Midland Cricket Day, where Tim Munter mobilised all the lovely Warwickshire boys to be our celebs. These events continued to be held annually with the support of some great sponsors and helped to raise the profile of the appeal. Have a wonderful evening, and I'm sure tonight will be a great success. Good night. Um. I, I, th I think you've garnered some fantastic support over the years. What would you like to say to just some of them? Well, t to everybody up there, but to everybody in this room, really, um, you've made my day, you've made my 25 years. I couldn't have done it without you. And, I, and when I started, I said I wouldn't let you down. And you've ridden the waves with me. You've answered my phone calls. We've all got together, trustees, patrons, working together, realising that... It's all about the patient and what goes around comes around and um, for me, as, as Tom said, it's onwards and upwards and um, it's good night, God bless, but not goodbye. Absolutely. Now you say it's all about the patient, so it's only fitting that a few patients would like to pay tribute as well. Good evening everyone and uh, welcome along. I hope you have had a very enjoyable night tonight at the ball and good evening John. Welcome to you and best wishes. My name is Paul Darby. I got to know Mr Watkinson in 1998 when I became a thyroid patient of his at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. I noticed the standard of treatment that he provided was totally different to the treatment that I'd received previously. It was like moving from uh, the lower league of football to the World Cup qualifying groups. He treated a lot of patients and also a lot of my family members. I can't thank him enough for prolonging my life 
and also a lot of other people as well. He's an excellent medical person, he's got wonderful patient skills and he's very, very contactable. I just want to wish him all the best. If anybody deserves an award or a medal or anything like that, this is the man. I think he's the greatest man on the planet. Thank you very much, John, and have a great night. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a great time at the Get Ahead Charity Ball. Um, sorry I can't be there, but we'll be travelling. Um, I'm more than happy to make this tribute to John, who's been a fantastic uh, member of Get Ahead from day one, 25 years. And he's done so, so much for the Get Ahead Charity. And I'm glad that somebody's recognised it and made the evening his. So we uh, first met John, I think it was around about 98, 99, when my wife Janet got ill. We were referred to John and uh, uh, she had a very serious illness and John of course did the business and she recovered and she had a great life. And John was so attentive uh, to, to Janet's needs and uh, it was a bit more than just operating and the consultancy after. There was a lovely human side to, to John's nature and uh, for example he would sit on the edge of a bed with her of a night after the op, hold her hand and uh, you know talk to her, you know, talk through things. So have a great night John and, and from all my family who know I'm coming here today they'd like to thank you uh, from the bottom of our heart uh, for giving us um, some quality years with Janet where she saw a, a lad go to university and uh, saw a grandchild born and uh, it was such, so we were so indebted to you and, and we'd just like to say a big thanks and enjoy the night and get drunk. Bye John. Hello everybody, hello John. Um, we first met in 2011 with my diagnosis um, in a hospital room. I've got to know you since through the charity Get Ahead. Um, met some wonderful people and it's great to be more involved as a thank you. The story that most sticks in my mind about you was my second operation. We were in the anaesthetic room and I was well, I was really nervous, shaking. You came over to me, said, oh, are you nervous? I said, yes, and you shook your hands and said, so am I, <laughs> which just made me go into hysterics and feel so much better. Um, you've been wonderful, you've had a sense of humour and saw me through everything and I will be forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Loretta. That's wonderful. I mean, it, it is, it's all about the patients, John. And you're probably thinking, uh, how many more are they? You keep turning around to me as if that's the last one. But I know you, your, your volunteers have been so busy putting these films together and there's, there's no end of people who are queuing up to do more. How does it make you feel? Well, it, it's, it's payback time, isn't it? Because that's why you, you go into medicine. You want to um, do the job, um, do it properly. And the, all the pleasure is received when they smile and when they do well and then you go home and you're happy so fantastic. what goes around comes around fantastic and of course you've motivated and inspired many people to have been involved in the charity over the 25 years here's a few tributes from them oh dear okay good evening everyone and hi john john you'll remember when we first met you'd very successfully treated my twin brother edward who's in the room tonight and then it was my turn I, of course, fainted and passed out and fell on the floor when you entered the room and told me I needed surgery. However, I needn't have worried as you did a fabulous job and went on to operate successfully on my three children, Jack, Maddie and Ted. From there, of course, I got very involved in the charity Get Ahead, which you founded and has gone from strength to strength, mainly because of you. Have a great evening, John. Onwards and upwards. Hi, John. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great evening. Um, John, I've known you since, uh, well, probably before 1997, but in 97 uh, I did my first house job, so my first job as a doctor uh, at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, and uh, you were one of my bosses, um, history. Um, and then, having uh, completed my training, I uh, then came back as a consultant colleague. It's been uh, a fantastic 20-plus uh, years, um, you've been a great inspiration to me, um, lots and lots of memories, 
um, now uh, working in partnership with you and the other trustees at Get Ahead. Uh, it's been a real experience and I look forward to many more decades together. Um, you've uh, been an inspiration, you've been a role model and uh, I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thank you. Hi John, I didn't realise that when I came to you for treatment in 2009 that part of the payment for that treatment would be agreeing to be the financial trustee at Get Ahead. Anyway, I'm very happy to do that role, very happy to still be involved with the charity and be you personally. Thank you for everything you did for me back then. And you were definitely right, you were the only medic that said to me, you'll still be able to drink wine, still be able to drink champagne, so thanks for that. Good evening everybody and good evening John. Um, this is a special dedication to you this evening um, for all the fantastic work you've done. I first met you in 2013 when I started um, the most amazing job ever as Charity Manager for Get Ahead. Working for the charity on a day-to-day -day basis, we meet uh, so many people and speak to so many people whose lives you've touched. Uh, it's a real honour to be involved with the charity. Um, it's wonderful when people ring us up and sing your praises um, for all the things you've done for your patients. But not only that, John, the amazing work you've done for Get Ahead. To be here celebrating 25 years is such a remarkable achievement. And hats off to you, John. Um, onwards and upwards. Uh -huh. well, well, John, you can... You can still drink longer? champagne and you can still My drink flag. wine. That's the kind of doctor I want to be yeah. registered with. Uh, listen, Thank you've you. motivated an army of volunteers and helpers. You've done a fantastic... Six million quid, 25 years, absolutely fantastic. But of course, the people who are perhaps most proud of you, a lot of whom are here tonight on different tables, are your family. Esme's here and a lot of your family are here, but they're so proud of you. And they also had some final messages for you and we'll put you out of your misery after this. Have a look. Please, please. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for coming and supporting the charity. Hi John, your night. My wife and I have been involved with the Trust since its inception, when I was fortunate enough to be made a member of the founding committee. Our family are tremendously proud of John's inspiration, supported by Adrian Drake Lee <coughs> to found the Trust and of his subsequent achievements as a surgeon. Our holidays were spent at Brixham. John used to bring home samples of unusual fish, pin them to the breadboard, and then dissect them to display the, the skeleton with all the organs in a row alongside. And he'd then declare, someday I'm going to cut people up. And during his time as a registrar at Guy's Hospital, the famous head and neck surgeon, Omar Shaheen, was to tell us that he was filled with awe when he watched John doing a thyrectomy and that John had magic in his hands. He was subsequently to leave Guy's and come to work at Birmingham where he perceived a great need, a department badly in need of equipment and a high incidence of head and neck disease. He has remained committed to Birmingham for throughout his career. Finally, our thanks to Tom Bromwich and all the trustees, together with the staff, for the outstanding job they have done. Hi John, brother Tony here. I hope you're having a great evening and enjoying the surprise. I just want to say how proud I am and always have been of my big brother. You have achieved so much, but then I always knew you would. I remember when we went to our new school and you won the senior cross country by such a long way. Not only did you have talent, but huge determination and drive. I want to thank you for being my inspiration to also study medicine. What a great role model you have been. Love you loads, mate, and have a great night. Hi, everyone. Hi, John. Can't believe it's, tw it's 25 years since you came to Birmingham and you started this wonderful charity. I'm so proud of you, John. You've done wonderful work, 
and I really can't tell you how proud I am. I remember as a little girl, probably 10 or 11, watching you dissecting insects in the, in the shed in the garden. And it was always your dream to be a surgeon. But what you've, what you've done and the charity you've created and the lives you've changed, I'm so proud of you. Love your job. Good evening, everyone, and uh, hi, Dad. Um, so I thought I would talk about uh, a moment for me that stands out when I kind of think about the history of Get Ahead um, and my dad as a person, really. I remember my dad came home one day and said that on Saturday uh, I could go with him to visit Cher in her hotel room. So uh, needless to say, I spent the entire week practising my tribute act to Do You Believe in my very best Cher voice. But when we actually walked into the room, I was totally starstruck. I remember thinking that um, she looked like uh, some kind of mermaid with her hair stretched out on the pillow, and uh, I bottled it. Um, as soon as we walked out of the room, I promptly burst into floods of tears, uh, at which point my dad calmed me down, took me back into the room, and uh, second time lucky, I sang with gusto. When I think back to it now, the thing that I remember most is how important my dad was. Um, and when I say important, I don't just mean uh, highly respected, although obviously that's true as well. Um, I mean valuable. So, you know, my dad's always been my hero, but growing up it's been amazing to realise that he's also been a hero for so many other people. Uh, he has this amazing ability to make you feel safe in the scariest circumstances and to hold the world together when it feels like it's falling apart. Thanks. Lots of love, Heli. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Will. Uh, I'm John's son. Just uh, wanted to say a few words. Um, so firstly, what do I think about my dad when I think of him as a doctor? My, my earliest memories are when he used to drag me in at the weekend, usually when he was on call of some sorts, and I'd be left um, to play with the nurses. And what I, from what I remember is the nurses used to tell me how much of a fun guy my dad was. So he was very relaxed, cool, and um, a charming character is what I, uh, what I gathered, but I didn't want to tell him at that age that they were wrong. What do I think of my dad as a doctor is, is some of the things that he's taught me over the years. Um, the main one was when I was on work experience with him, he taught me about always remembering things about patients when you meet them. So if they tell you they play golf or they, they're a fisherman, the next time you see them you ask, how's it going with the golf and the fishing? And it really creates this um, relationship between you and I think that's what he's done over the years. He's not just been a doctor who treats patients, he's been someone who forms strong relationships with them uh, and that's been going on for over 30 years. It's probably a show of how many people are here tonight as to an impact my father may have made and have a good one. Thanks very much. Hello. Hello everybody. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Uh, Louise asked me to say a few words darling about you so here we go. I promise I'll be polite, <laughs> of course. Um, John and I met in 1981 over a dead body in the anatomy room at the Royal Free Hospital. John liked to be the anatomy demonstrator to my year at the hospital. Uh, we got married in 1986 and we had two children and we moved to Birmingham in the autumn of 1992, just after William was born. I've always found that he always comes to the rescue so I suppose one time for me that reiterates just how good he is in difficult situations and how he always rises to the occasion was when my dad was very ill um, on a family holiday in Sicily and we realised that the stomach bug that he had was actually cancer and we had to get him home. And most people probably wouldn't have attempted that flight. It was difficult. And John said, don't worry, darling, we will do it. We will get your dad home. And on the flight, it was difficult. And John just rose up, helped my dad, get him home, and there we were. So I've always been able to trust him in any situation to do his best, never lets anyone down. And that's why people think he's marvellous. So, darling, you really deserve this tribute for Get Ahead, because... 
We're very proud of you as a family. I think you're marvellous, and so does everyone else, and that makes me very happy to be part of this today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lou. Well, John, um, I, hope, um, I hope you're getting a gist of how much uh, people love you um, after those tributes. Um, it, they speak for themselves. You deserve every single plaudit you've got. For me, I'm not family, uh, but I feel like I am sometimes, and it's been a privilege and an honour to, uh, to know you as a surgeon, as a counsellor, a philosopher, a drinker, and a friend. Thank you. Um, <laughs> And long may it continue. Thank you very much. Um, so well done. John Watkinson, this is your life with Get Ahead. Thank you. Uh, that's you to peruse and look at it at your leisure. Okay. Esme, I'm sure he couldn't have done half the things he's done without your support. So well done you as well. Proud of you. And now you've got to make a speech and you're on your own, mate. Go for it. I'll look after this for you. Well, I wasn't expecting that, and first of all, thank you very much, uh, Hilary, for those kind words. And really, what, what he's just done is taken the wind out of my sails, because the, um, the film says it all, really. I was just going to stand up and say what a privilege it's been over the last 25 years to work in a, in a centre where we've established and, and broadened the approach to patients with uh, head and neck disease and cancer, um, I've had fun along the way. It was Roy Castle who took me to one side and said, look, boy, you need some money in your back pocket if you want to make a difference. And I've always kept that in the back of my mind. Um, I've nurtured uh, trainees. We've looked after the nurses, educated them. We put the funds back into Birmingham and beyond. And I think we're now a regional charity with a national profile, officers in Solihull, officers in the QE. And for me, everybody in this room, I'd say thank you for coming tonight. I thank my family for those tributes. I think we're going to go from strength to strength. And uh, just enjoy yourself tonight. Have fun, onwards and upwards. And as I just said to Hillary, it's good night, it's God bless, but it's not goodbye. Thank you very much. <laughs>